This is Terry Bush with PowerMation. This video will show a first-time user of Sikamia how to get started with a hardware site manager. The Sikamia solution has three major components. The first component is the site manager. It is the device installed in the control panel on the factory floor. The site manager supports USB, serial, and Ethernet connections. The second component is Link Manager. Link Manager is a software package installed on a Windows computer which uses a web browser for navigation and gives you access to your devices or agents using the site manager inside the control panel. The third component is the gate manager. The gate manager is the server which connects your link manager users to your site managers. The Sikamia solution also supports site manager to site manager communications, also known as machine to machine communications, using the gate manager as well. The Sikamia solution is a third generation VPN or VPN proxy. Traditional VPN typically gives you access to the whole network, which can be dangerous. To limit access, you would need to create custom routing rules for each individual. Those routing rules can make a system very complicated. With Sikamia, you configure the device connection based on how the connection will be used. If the device is a PLC and you're going to program the PLC, then that is the only traffic allowed. If the device is an HMI and you want to use it for web publishing, then only port 80 will be open. When you purchase a Sikamia for the first time, we set you up with an administration account and the credentials are sent to you via email. So we'll open up the email, download the certificate file, and extract the contents, which will be a .gmc extension file used for the second factor of authentication, along with your email. Inside the email will be a link to the gate manager. Again, we're using two-factor authentication. We pick the file. Copy paste the password from the email as well. Finally, click login. That password will be the same password used for the other accounts that are you're about to create. So it's asking you to create your link manager account, click yes, then click next for the link manager mobile account. So now all three accounts will be in your domain along with a starter license. Now you'll go down to the site manager documentation, connect up the wires, then we'll go back to the administration console click on the USB icon and enter in the appliance name. This will be the name of the site manager. So when you connect to the gate manager, you'll see that name. You can also change, modify other settings within this configuration window as well. And all those settings will be put in the site manager. Once you've created the file, you have to put it on a USB stick. So we'll open up the folder, drag and drop, disconnect the USB stick, plug it into the site manager, and you'll see the status light blink The site manager reboots and in your administration console once the site manager is connected to the gate manager you'll see the name of the site manager in your domain and from here we could connect to the site manager and that would give us access to all of the devices underneath the site manager 
with the Link Manager software. But first we need to install the Link Manager software. And we'll click Next, I agree, and Install. Once Link Manager is installed, then you can start Link Manager. Now we can connect to our Site Manager and get access to all of the devices underneath that Site Manager. The next step is to log into the Site Manager itself and configure devices, or we call them agents. You can search for agents and it'll find all of the agents that are connected to the Dev1 port. You can also add agents that are connected to the uplink port, but those have to be entered manually. So we're going to add our Horner controller, give it a name, we'll also add a web camera. and only allow web publishing. Now the status is idle, meaning you're communicating, and they will appear underneath that site manager. If you click connect, you are then connecting to everything simultaneously. Horner and webcam. So to verify our connection, we'll launch our Seascape programming. Verify our IP settings. And upload from the controller. While uploading, you can see how much data was consumed, packets, errors, losses, and all the status information. Now we're going to try our Link Manager mobile account that uses your account name. And your administration password. So you go to the main screen of the Sikamiya Gate Manager, click Link Manager Mobile, copy your name, and go back to the administration. Password, copy that. Once you log in, you'll see all of the site managers that you have access to. In this case, it's the one you just configured called My Site Manager. And underneath you have the webcam agent, and it is configured for web publishing. So you click on the www. Enter in the username and password for the particular device you're logging into. And finally, you'll see the webcam screen. Bidirectional communication, so you can click your pan, tilt, and zoom on the webcam as well. Back at the gate manager, we want to make sure that we disconnect from the device. These licenses are concurrent user licenses, so you could have five engineers that would be using a single license, but they could only use it one at a time.
So you want to make sure that you disconnect before you log off. And here we're creating more users. Link Manager, Link Manager Mobile. Sikamia. Secure communications made easy. If you have any more questions, please contact your PowerMation sales representative or feel free to send me an email at terry.bush at powermation.com.